Good morning, everybody. It's finally Friday, and uh, I'm sitting on the front of the tractor with five gallons of diesel fuel, and we got a pile of stuff behind me to burn. So we need to get this diesel fuel into the middle of this pile. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but uh, Robert's gonna lift me up in this tractor, and I'm gonna take this five gallons of diesel fuel and put it down into this uh, pile of wood, and we're gonna see what happens. So maybe this works, maybe it doesn't. I may need to actually just walk up there on top of the pile and start dumping. We'll find out, we'll see what happens. Try to get it in the middle and let it soak down to the bottom. Try not to slip. Devin, take off that breather cap. Try to get some right over here, Devin. Yeah, I am. I don't want to have to crawl back down through it, though. I'm going to do Watch your back. You got the grapple right behind you. I don't want you to walk into it. Like that. might have been safer than him lifting me up in the tractor. I don't know. I don't know. Questionable. Probably more OSHA approved for me to climb up there than for him to lift me in the tractor. The next one, he's probably going to have to lift me in the tractor. Fun stuff. Are you ready? All right, Robert. Do the honors. Hopefully we can get this thing going. Got all diesel fuel. Well, we'll see what that looks like in about five or ten minutes after that takes off. 
think it will, hopefully. So, we're on the way to burning. Oh yeah, that didn't take long, about two minutes. And she's, uh, the wind is carrying it that way. So we lit it on this side and the wind carried it right in there. And we smoking now, we are smoking. So hopefully that continues to burn up real good. We got plenty of diesel fuel if we need to relight it, but we're gonna get really five more gallons and we gotta light that pile up and see what happens. Oh, that's, that's getting hot. I'm gonna back up. Too much not like it was yesterday yesterday was bad yesterday it was blown over the gopro was it really? yeah it blew it over a couple times i had to spread the legs out at the bottom like really wide to keep it from knocking out wind from knocking it over how was the video <clears throat> it was good i posted the first day this morning did you yeah okay 
she going i poured a bunch in around that big log up there so i've seen that i figure that's gonna need all the help he can get but if we get enough of those other logs going that'll be the fuel that'll yeah. burn the big one yeah pine about to burn a lot of that is pine all right we're burning so my original plan was to um we were gonna go ahead and light that pile up but that pile right there has got some really big chunks of red oak in it and uh it's already kind of starting to come down a little bit most of the small stuff's already burned out of it that one's still going pretty good i'm we're gonna start pulling stuff out of this pile and throwing it on that one so we can keep it burning to burn some more of that big stuff that's in there so i'm gonna hop on the excavator robert's gonna jump in the tractor and we're gonna start uh he's gonna try to get some stuff out of that pile and uh, i'm gonna bring the excavator over here i'm gonna start pulling some stuff out of this pile i think i can go around this big stump and just work my way snake right through here and we're gonna keep stoking them up so let's get to it All right, fires are looking good. Robert and I stacked these things up pretty much uh, all the way until lunch. And we left to go to lunch around one and uh, came back and they had burnt down a good bit. And then uh, I took a little bit of what was left out of one of these piles. I think it was that one, put it on that pile. And then there were two more big piles down there and I took the mini and took pretty much anything and everything I could get and put it on that one. And she's burning really good down there, which I needed to because it's got a big, big log, big red oak log in there. I don't know how much of that is going to burn down. We may end up having to mulch that thing. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So um, I've pretty much gotten everything out, the big stuff out of all these piles out here. Um, the only one we've got left is that one way back there um and we'll probably end up doing just burning that one on its own back there 
it's way too far to pull stuff out of it so robert went to get uh, a hose for the tractor it got a pinhole leak in one of the grapple hoses so i feel like let's dig 18 when i'm out here because he's got a robert and i got a robert but instead of his robert works for him but i work for this robert so but let's not tell him that i think i don't he doesn't know that so i gotta keep that on the dl because <laughs> when i'm out here i'm the one usually formulating the, ga the game plans about what we're gonna do so all right i'm gonna hop in the uh in the skid with uh the destructo disc disc mulcher and uh we've got to finish that last acre or so back there i'm gonna try to get that done before the end of the day or as much of it as i can so got about what is it eh, hour and a half ish or so so let's go get some stuff done and we'll run that and then tomorrow what i'm gonna do is we're gonna swap some of those teeth around and i'm gonna start coming in here and working on this little section through here where all these big stumps are so i'm gonna put some get some fresh teeth going on the disc mulch and we're gonna start eating down some of these big stumps so that'll be saturday's job so that's gonna be interesting stay tuned but let's go mulch what we can today Unfortunately, I think, uh, I'm going to take my earplugs out. I think mulching is going to be a no-go for today. Um, I've never really had this happen, but it is way too dusty for me to mulch. Um, I don't even care if I had the drum mulcher. It's way too dusty. I When I come back, when I come up here and I have to back up to make my back drag, I can't even see anything behind me. Um, nothing. Not through the backup camera or nothing. So I don't know if I'm backing up in a straight line or I'm, I'm going off this way or whatever. I can't see anything. And then I can't see the ground in front of me. So I don't know if I'm hitting any stumps. Cause I, you know, yesterday it worked fine because the wind was going that way. And as I was mulching, even though it was dusty, it was pulling all that dust away from me very quickly. Today, we don't have much, there's a little bit of wind, but not much at all. And uh, I can't see Jack. So we're gonna have to wait until it rains and let's, gets a little bit wetter out here to finish this because it's just way too dusty um i do think we can get these stumps down tomorrow because uh, mostly we're just going to be in this wood um into this hardwood stuff and there's going to be a little dust but it ain't going to be nothing like that's out there in that field because mostly i'm just going to come through here and just kind of spot grind you know spot grind these stumps down is what i'm going to do so Let's go ahead and go up here. I'm gonna wait till this disc slows down and then we can start rotating and, and changing some of the teeth and moving them around with the impact. I'll show you guys how that works. And we'll get this thing ready for tomorrow so we can uh, grind these big old stumps because they are big. So let's go do that and try to get ready for tomorrow. All right, so you can see these teeth down here have taken the brunt of the mulching on the ground, if you guys can see that, yeah. So, 
Um, these are quadco teeth. If I can get it off. And I can't. There it went. There she goes. Jeez Louise. So, this is what, you can see that, actually well, the sun's in my face, let me make sure you guys can see, there we go. Alright, so, this up is new, this side is worn, so you can see the difference there. But these quad coat teeth, you can just flip them around, so once I do that, I've got a good edge on the bottom, and so this right here will go through those stumps nice and good. Also. These top teeth are not really being used for what we're doing. So I can basically pull them off as well and just take, once these are worn out, just swap the top and the bottoms and uh, we'll be in good shape. Most of these ones that are further up underneath here are not that worn too badly. That dog on bolt about didn't want to break. She was tight. About barely get my gun in here. Yeah, I don't like that. It's... I got my gator up. Uh, flies are killing me. Gnats have been bad out here. disc is like wanting to move. That was worn down to the nubby nub.
Well, there's anything I can do about it. Oh, I see. Dang, gum. That's not good. Oh, go on. Well, that one ain't breaking. That one ain't breaking either. Jeez, that's not good. Might have to heat them up or something. That one broke. <clears throat> That's the first time I found something this three quarter inch impact couldn't break. I can't believe I can't get this bolt to break. Oh, I got it! Woo! She got it. She didn't like it, but she got it. Let's try this one one more time. Oh yeah, buddy! Woo! This 
three quarter Milwaukee has yet to be defeated. Okay, so we got those teeth. Take my earplugs out so I can hear myself talk. We got those teeth swapped around. That is the cool thing about these uh, quadco teeth is that they are, they're not really, they're like reversible, but you can also just like make a quarter turn out of them as well, depending on how they wear. So I just did a full, basically did most of like a full turn out of them. So now our cutting edge is down here on the bottom. So these will chew into the stumps too, along with these. So these are good and fresh. That's pretty razor sharp right there. So that's gonna go into those stumps pretty good. And as you can see, these back here have very little wear on them as well on the bottoms. If I wanted to, I could take the grinder and just sharpen those up a little bit if I wanted to. Or we could reverse them as well, or just swap them out, bring them, bring them up here to the outside as well. Because these are the ones, when you're cutting those stumps, these are the ones doing most of your cutting because they're basically the first ones to impact into the stump as you go into it <clears throat> so and then as you kind of get it down you can kind of start using some of these and you can kind of pancake down on top of the stump and start using some of these under here but uh yeah this thing works pretty good these quad coat teeth depending on how much you put them in the ground um uh, if you're cutting you know if you stay in the wood they last pretty good but uh if you start putting them in the ground yeah they they wear pretty good but um I think John Deere sells some carbide tipped ones where this face right here is carbide in it, I think. I gotta check on that, but they have some carbides in the lobby in there and I've looked at a few of them just out of curiosity before. So I think they've got some that are carbide. So I may end up going by there and getting some carbide facing ones um, because uh, these are the same teeth that go on the feller bunchers. Uh, it's pretty much the same technology. So that worked out pretty good. So at least we got that done and the machine ready for tomorrow. Where most of these stumps are in here, <clears throat> this is pretty still, it's it's not really, it's wetter. I would say it's wetter. It's not soaking wet though. There are some holes like right there that are still holding a little bit of water. I filled in one yesterday with the excavator that was kind of a big mud puddle, but it's wet enough to where it's not, the dust shouldn't be too much of a problem. Out there where all this is high ground has just been a big dusty mess. But the breeze was helping me yesterday. We've got, you can see the smoke there. It's going almost vertical. We have almost no breeze today. So, we had, well, we had a little bit earlier today. There was a nice wind going into those piles going that way, but it's died off as the day, as the day has gone on. So, but uh, big stumps to grind tomorrow. Big, big stumps to grind tomorrow. These are not to be trifled with right here. That's a big pine right there. And I showed you guys that big oak down there. It's, uh, yeah, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, at least a dozen through here that we've got to do tomorrow to get this whole area cleaned up. I'd like to get this whole area right here 
and down that line where this is a little wetter here and the dust won't be a problem to get all this cleaned up tomorrow if the teeth will allow me to that you know if they'll stay sharp enough to grind these stumps because they've got to be sharp to really get into these stumps hopefully prayerfully so got a few over here next to this ditch we need to hit too all right, Robert's getting the hydraulic line fixed up. I got the teeth squared away on the disc mulcher. And we will get this wrapped up for the day and be back tomorrow. So got, so got a lot of good burning done today. And I was really happy with that. So stay tuned for the Saturday's video. We're gonna, it's going to be epic. Yeah, as long as we don't have any issues with the equipment, it should be pretty epic. So stay tuned for that. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.